Danny, first days in the books. How was it out there? It was good. You know, we uh, we worked hard all summer. Um, Coach Lawson had us ready. You know, I felt real great out there. You know, running after the, running after the ball and you know just playing hard every snap. So I think I think we all felt pretty well. What was the pace like? Is, did you guys take it easy for a first day? Did you guys go as fast as you probably possibly could? No, in the SEC, there's no there's no taking it easy. Um, you know, we went after it. You know, just because we didn't have pads on doesn't mean we're not running hard to the ball. You know, getting after each other on the field. You know, that's 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 all competition. It doesn't matter if we have pads on or not. You're talking about competition. There's a lot of competition for those starting spots along, along the defensive line. Oh yeah. Is that pushing you guys through practice that you know that the guy you're competing against is right there next to you? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's how you build championship programs. I mean, you have to have guys competing for every position on the field. You know, and we got we got competition all over the defense, all over the offense, and you know that that you know that brings up the everybody's game up. You know, because you know every day you got to bring your best, or you know you could get your spot taken. Do you think? About that. Um, yeah, you know, Coach Strips had me with the one since the spring. Um, you know, I, f I feel comfortable playing with Jordan. You know, a lot of guys are going to be able to, you know, play this year. I mean, I don't think really starting positions really matter. You know, Owen Williams is going to get in there. Uh, Demaria Mixon. You know, um, pretty much. You know, we're going to have a, we're going to have a lot of guys playing defensive line. We need a lot of guys to be able to play. So, do you, do you think the retention rate was pretty good the first day back in practice from the spring? Uh, sorry. Retention sorry. rate. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've been installing um, pretty much since summer began. You know, they changed the NCAA rule, I guess, this summer. So, you know, they were allowed to meet with us. So, you know, we, we installed a lot. You know, that was I think it was a lot better for the new guys, especially because you know they got they got a little jump start. You know, than usually what, what uh, freshmen usually get. So, you know, I think it helped a lot. How important is this camp in August for the defensive line? Because that's certainly going to be important for the season. Um, you know, every you know defensive line. You know, that, that's the that's the head of the defense. You know, we're the ones that, um, you know, set the tempo of the defense and defense wins championships. So, I mean, we got to bring it every day. We can't have any bad days. Um, we really just got to get after it every single day. Danny, have the coaches familiarize you with this this new rule on getting the quarterback where there's actual, an actual strike zone? You can't hit them too high. You can't hit them around the yeah. knees either. Yeah, we talked we talked about that last night. Um, Did you? As a defensive lineman, you know, that's that's kind of kind of – ridiculous in my standpoint but um i mean it's football you know we all know what we're playing what we're getting into when we play the sport so i think you know you're gonna have to follow the rule because we don't need any penalties but you know i just it's whatever when you're rushing go ahead sir. when you're when you're rushing a quarterback i mean you're you're really not thinking where you're going to hit him are you aren't you just trying i'm just kind of getting down yeah and I mean sometimes you know you're slipping and falling on, on your way to attack them sometimes you can only grab an arm or a, a leg or something at, or at his knee or anything like that so I mean that makes it difficult too so because you know you, you really got to focus on staying on your feet and hit them in the right spot and this staff likes to talk about how the SEC is a line of scrimmage and they no returning starters on offense or defense the line of scrimmage just how important is going to be for you guys to come together as quickly as possible in order to um, you know, it's it's uh, more important now, you know, than ever. So I mean, we gotta, like I said, we gotta bring it every single day on both sides of the ball. But you know, our offensive line, you know, they got a lot of great leaders: Matt Crowder, um, Kyler Curvison, um, Marcus Jackson. You know, they're they're doing a great job in helping the younger guys out and um, really bringing guys along. And you know, we're doing the same thing on the defensive line. So, sorry, Danny. What are you guys doing off the field to try and speed that process along? Um, I mean, off the field, you know, we're always getting extra work in together. I mean, um, and then, you know, on the weekends, I think there was probably about six or seven weekends where we had defensive cookouts out by the pool, you know, especially, if, you know, I think that helps the young guys out. You know, I uh, cooked up uh, some venison one day for them all, and they liked that a lot. But, uh, you know, we, we just had a good time hanging out, and, you know, getting just getting comfortable around us. I mean, because that, that's what makes defense is great is really just feeling comfortable with each other, knowing that the guy next to you has, has your back as well as you have his. So. Was it venison that you had bagged? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bow? Rifle. Uh, rifle, yeah. It was a couple of years ago, but I still had it in the freezer. Is that the entire defense or just the defensive line? No, the entire defense. Um, we've we've uh, gotten together as a defensive line, you know, multiple times. But, you know, the entire defense, yeah, we've had cookouts, you know, all summer long. So. Then it has the new style of defense, defensive line play with more stemming and stunning and that sort of thing going. And, and how do you guys like that? We love it because I think this year, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're smaller, but we're quicker. You know, I think we're playing, you know, better, you know, moving around. Um, I think, you know, pressures are going to help us a lot this year, stemming, you know, throwing off the offense's uh, game plan and stuff like that. I think I think it's I think it's going to help a lot, you know, because last year, you know, we were really big in size, but, we, you know, we didn't we didn't move that much around. So I think this year it's, it's going to be a different kind of ball game. Did you give the 
offense that looked much in the spring? Um, I don't think we gave it as much as a look in the spring as we're about to give them. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll see here soon. Did they struggle yeah. with it when you did give it to them? Um, yeah, they, they did. But, um, you know, they're, they're going to adjust just like we will. You know, go, going up against the same guys every single day, you know, they're going to get used to it. But, you know, that, that's what makes, you know, competition. you got to give them something new every day. Hey, is your uh, position coach, has he talked to you about that new rule on hitting the quarterback, or is this just you guys talking? Oh, no, but, yeah. The, whole, yeah, the head coach, you know, we talked about it last night in the team meeting. Oh, so, in the yeah. team meeting. So yeah. What was their message to you? I mean, did uh, 15 yard penalty. That's pretty much all you need to hear. So I mean, I guess you got to follow it then. Is so. there any? Is there? Does that change anything? You said you got to avoid. It's hard enough to keep your balance. So yeah. when you're fighting through a blocker and then to get in there, is there anything that changes technique wise once you're going in for the, the hit? Um, I mean, a little bit, but you never know what kind of situation you're going to get as you're hitting, as you're going at the quarterback, because you never know you know, what, what, what's going to happen. So it's not really much you can do to prepare for that other than work on your balance. So I think that's, you know, one thing we all do pretty well. Danny, I know you were new. I mean, I know you were in the rotation some last year, but is there kind of just a renewed sense of energy for you this year coming in and a you know, great chance to start, great time to see a lot of, you know, playing time? Yeah, definitely. I um, this, this summer and this past winter, I really, you know, got, got focused, especially after the um, – you know, stuff that off the field that happened. I really locked in. You know, I got married to the weight room over the summer. I, I lived in there, you know, get, getting extra work in every day. And, and, you know, a lot of guys on our defensive line and on our team have done that. And um, I'm, I'm trying to just seize the opportunity. I mean, we got a chance to do some great things with Team 118. I can't wait to play with these guys. I think we're going to do, do a lot of great things. Can you just how more crowded did it seem with a bunch of new guys there on the defensive line? And, and how much, or do you think they handled tonight, their first practice? The um, first actually, I think that was the most crowded I've ever seen in defensive line room since I've been here <laughs> when they first all came in in the summer and we had that first meeting. But, um, you know, it's great because, you know, we need guys, you know, just reloading. So we're reloading every year. So even when I'm gone, you know, and stuff like that, you know, there's guys just ready to go. You know, they're learning the system. And, you know, it's good to have depth. And it's like I said earlier, it's great to have competition because that's what builds championship programs. Danny, my whole question about how it goes. Do you like the fact that it's not about maybe plugging gaps and it's more – which Shrimpy's talked a lot about being more athletic, being more explosive. Do you like kind of the direction that the style of play is going up, up front with what they're asking the guys to do? Definitely. Um, you know, as a defensive lineman, you know, we're, we're begging to make plays. And I wouldn't want to be a guy that's just supposed to, to tell you to fill your gap and let the linebackers make the plays. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice anything for my teammates, but, you know, we're, we're getting after it. You know, we're all dogs up front. We're all trying to get after it. We're all trying to make plays. We're all trying to sack the quarterback. And you got to have that if you want to dominate the defensive line in the SEC. No pads yet, but did you like the athleticism you saw across the board out there? I did. I did. You know, yeah. I mean, we got a we got a lot of new guys. We got a lot of great talent. Um, the young guys are. I think they're going to do a great job for us. And I don't. You know, I really don't think age matters. But I think we're going to get it done here when it comes fall.